In a world driven by financial stability and security, the idea of achieving true financial independence holds an irresistible allure. Take a second and picture a life where your money works for you effortlessly, generating a steady stream of income, allowing you to pursue your passions, and most importantly, escape from the shackles of a 9 to 5 and have all your bills covered. Now, this is a dream that many, including myself, have actually been able to turn into a reality. That being the reality of living completely off of dividend income. Now, dividend investing is a powerful concept and a powerful investing strategy that has captivated the minds of both seasoned investors and aspiring younger ones. And unlike traditional investment strategies that rely on capital gains or speculation, dividend investing emphasizes the generation of regular income on a consistent basis. Now, in this video, we are going to explore what exactly it would take to live completely off of dividends. And we're going to go over the intricate math needed to achieve this sort of dream. Now, we're going to go over all this and more. Right after you, please drop a like in this video and subscribe for more content like this in the future. So first of all, let's take a step back and talk about why dividend investing is even so popular in the first place. Now, dividend investing has become very popular over the past few years because more and more investors are interested in building a long-term wealth vehicle that can pay them consistent dividends on a monthly or quarterly basis. Now, also, dividend stocks tend to do pretty well in all sorts of markets. But most importantly, investors like myself included are so obsessed with dividend investing because of the passive income investment strategy it provides. And overall, simply put, dividend investing offers a compelling combination of income generation as well as long-term wealth creation and capital appreciation. It aligns with the objectives of income-oriented investors and also investors that are seeking consistent long-term returns. And for the investors that focus on a high quality, dividend paying stocks and or ETFs in their investment strategy, they can leverage the power of dividends and achieve their financial goals and live completely off their dividends much earlier than those in the traditional retirement path. So now that we have a little bit of a background on why dividend investing has gotten so popular and the true reason for the most part that many of us want to collect as many dividend stocks and ETFs as possible, let me show you the exact math and how you figure out exactly how much you need to invest in whatever stock and or ETFs to completely live free and clear off the dividends. So right here, for example, we have SEHD, which is the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF. Now, this is one of the most popular ETFs for good reason. But for this example, we're going to look into SEHD's trailing 12-month dividend payout, which is $2.64. That's how much one share of SEHD has paid out to the shareholders over the past 12 months. So if we were to know the price of SCHD and if we were to know the annual payout amount, what would the math look like to figure out how many shares of this given ETF we would need to completely live off the dividend? The math is actually really simple. All you would need to do is figure out how much money you would need to live off of, which for this simple example, we're gonna use a $40,000 salary. So in order to replace a $40,000 salary, by the dividends paid from SCHD, we would take $40,000, which is the yearly salary for this example, and divide it by $2.64, which is the amount that SCHD pays out to each shareholder per share per year. Now with this, we get 15,151 shares of SCHD needed in order for this investor to receive around $40,000 per year in dividends paid. Now because SCHD is currently just under $72 per share, what we would need to do next is multiply the amount of shares needed by the share price of SCHD, which would give us $1,090,909.09, which is the amount of money that an investor would have to invest into SCHD in order to earn around $40,000 per year in dividends. Now, the cool thing is for dividend investors, once you understand the simple math, you can go ahead and type in any different ETF and or stocks in different combinations to see exactly what it would take in order for you to retire early. Take the JP Morgan Equity Premium Income ETF, JEPI, for example. Now, JEPI's paid around $6.04 over the past trillion 12 months. So if we were to head back over to the calculator and divide 40,000 by $6.04, because again, that's what the JP Morgan Equity Premium Income ETF paid in dividends over the past 12 months, we would need 6,622 shares of JEPI in order to receive around $40,000 a year in dividends. Now the JEPI ETF is currently trading at $54.50 per share, which means when it comes to the JEPI ETF, an investor would need just over $360,000 invest into JEPI in order to earn around $40,000 a year in dividends. 
Now, what's obviously interesting about both of those examples is the amount needed invested is drastically different. And this goes without saying, but just because a stock or ETF pays a higher dividend does not necessarily mean it's a better investment. But for the sake of the video, I thought it might be impactful to give two very different ETFs, one ETF that has a bit of a lower yield and one that has a very high yield to give you an easy illustration and to go through the math to show you how easy it is to do this. So now that we went to the math and showed you exactly how you figure out how much you're going to need invested in whatever stock or ETF it is in order to live completely free and clear off the dividends. The next obvious question is, well, which stocks or which ETFs do I choose to invest into? And obviously the answer to this question is going to be sort of extensive. When it comes to stock picking or picking ETFs to invest into, you're going to want to first define your investment goals. Begin by asking yourself questions like, are you seeking long-term growth? Are you trying to generate higher amounts of income on a consistent basis? Or are you looking for a balanced approach of both? Your goals will definitely shape your overall investment strategy and help narrow down the types of stocks and ETFs you should definitely consider. Now, once you know the answer to that, you're going to want to conduct thorough research. And this is going to be the hard part. This is what, in my opinion, takes up the most time. But diligent research is the foundation to any successful stock picking. Start by analyzing a company's financial statements. Learn how to do so, including the company's revenue, things like earnings and cash flow. Consider the company's competitive advantage, industry trends, and potential risks of the company and stock. You're going to also want to do things like evaluate the underlying companies or ETF's growth potential, assessing the growth potential of a company or by analyzing its historical growth rates and future growth prospects are going to give you a better idea if a stock or ETF is worth investing into. Also analyzing the financial health of the investment. And you can do this by examining key financial ratios. Now, some of these ratios are going to be things like debt to equity ratio, return and equity ratio, and profit margins, of course. Also, when it comes to dividend investing, you're going to want to consider the dividend payout history and, of course, the dividend yield. Because if you're seeking income on a consistent basis, analyzing the company's dividend history, consistency, and yield is going to give you a good idea of the track record and the consistency of even raising dividends, cutting dividends, etc. So overall, when picking the stocks and ETFs to build your portfolio in hopes to retire early is going to require a combination of careful research, analysis, and a very disciplined investment approach. I've always found that it's important to build out a strategy and stick to that strategy long term. Because with these strategies in place, you'll be better equipped to navigate the stock market and build a well-rounded portfolio that aligns with your specific strategy. But I would love for you to comment down below what your specific strategy in the stock market is. Are you more growth focused or are you more of an income investor? If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to please drop a like in the video and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks as always for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks as always for stopping by and if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.